Hi, and welcome to Energenics Wellness. We're gonna give you the curbside workout today. I live in a condominium. Dr. Isaac Jones is shooting this film today. We just got done with the workout, and we wanted to let you know kind of what we did today, and we're here just at a condo association. We're calling it the curbside workout. And I do own uh, a whole set of kettlebells, and I have them in a small kettlebell rack in my house, and it doesn't take up that much room. Really, all my workout gear consists of kettlebells, some ropes, and even a med ball, which Isaac can show you over there. And I pretty much do all my curbside workouts from here right at my condominium. So I'm going to show you what I do with one of these and I'll give you a follow-up video in the future. So what we have is two 60-pound dumbbells and a Rage rope made by Rage. I think I bought it off Amazon.com for around 50 bucks. Or maybe it was on a sporting goods store like Dick's or even... Um, I'm trying to think of another name of a sporting goods store. Dr. Isaac, do you know another one they could buy something like this on? A Rage Fitness Supply? I think RageFitness.com also supplies yeah. it. It's a great product, not super high end, but perfect for the curbside workout. So we're going to take you through this workout right now. We're going to do a, um, a rope slam, some curb push ups, and a kettlebell swing. We're going to give you the form and we're going to go through it here real quick with you. Double rope slam, good strong body position, shoulder width apart with the legs. You're gonna use your legs and your arms. Make sure you keep your arms loose so you're not driving like this and causing neck and back pain. So we wanna be very loose and relaxed when we're doing it. And for 20 seconds, we use our legs. Nice tight movement. Keep the arms up, don't bring them around. So you want it nice and tight in the middle. They're sliding a little on me. So from that 20 seconds, run up here. One of my favorite push-ups. Curbside push up, a nice deep push up. 15 to 20. Keep your arms and elbows in tight. You don't want to be out here, that's bad body position. Hard on your elbows, in tight. Got it? Next, run over to your kettlebell swing. A lot of different people do these incorrectly, in my opinion. What I've learned from my coach, Al from Stick With It Fitness. He really showed me a lot of great form on this. Wanna move with the hips. Start slow, drive it up, drive the hips. Keep it in tight into the crotch, not down in here. That's not a kettlebell swing, that's a back injury. Up, hip, 15 to 20. Put it down, break, 20 seconds. After 20 seconds break, back over, and you're back into it. Hope that helps. Curbside Fitness, Inogenics Wellness, Warren Phillips, see you next time.